Islamist rebels in Syria released a new video on Tuesday which purports to show a second American journalist being beheaded. The gruesome images have yet to be corroborated, but they do seem to show Stephen Sotloff, a 31-year-old freelance who's worked for Time and Foreign Policy, being killed by a member of the Islamic State in the Levant, the Islamist group also known as ISIS. The video is released just two weeks after similar images of the death of James Foley, another American reporter kidnapped while covering the civil war in Syria. The images followed the same pattern as the Foley killing. Sotloff was pictured wearing the same orange jumpsuit as Foley, an apparent reference to the clothes that inmates at the Guantanamo Bay prison wear. The man brandishing a knife by his head appeared to have a British accent, just as in the Foley video which has caused a lot of heart searching in the UK about what turns young men into Islamist militants. Like Foley, Sotloff delivered a message critical of the US, and just as in the Foley video, the ISIS Let member me, launched uh, into a diatribe against can, US policy in the region. Titled a second message to America, the man addressed Barack Obama directly and claimed, we take this opportunity to warn those governments that enter this evil alliance with America against the Islamic State to back off and leave our people alone. At this stage, the US and UK governments are still trying to verify the video. But what are the implications, assuming it is true? The first is about U.S. policy in Syria. So far, President Obama has authorized military action against ISIS in northern Iraq, but he's not extended that into ISIS's activities across the border in Syria. Indeed, Mr. Obama got into trouble last week when he admitted that the U.S. does not have a military strategy for taking on ISIS in Syria. The reason for his caution is clear. Syria's civil war is so complex that if the U.S. goes after ISIS, it could end up boosting the Assad regime that Washington is in theory committed to pushing from power. But the death of another U.S. journalist will raise the temperature in Washington and increase the pressure on Mr. Obama to do something in Syria as well. The killing of Mr. Sotloff will also deepen the questions in European countries and in the U.S. about the large numbers of members of ISIS who have foreign passports. As well as asking how it is that these young men and women have become radicalized, they also present a possible terrorist threat themselves if they decide to turn home. Finally, there is the question of what next. In the video released on Tuesday, ISIS said that its next victim would be a British man. The group is also to believe to be holding at least two other Americans. This is Jeff Dyer in Washington for the Financial Times.